Hey everybody, this is Rebels of Cloud9, and I'm bringing you guys today a sci-fi product review. And today I have, if they will stand up, I have the ODST figures from McFarland Toys. And um, I'm really excited to have these. These are from Halo, if you didn't know. And um, I really love the ODST uh, as a group. I think they're the coolest uh, part of Halo, the Halo universe. Um, I just really, really like them. I think they're awesome. And so I've been collecting a few of the figures here. And um, I'm going to start with in order which I got them. I, f I have the Oni Operative Dare right here. These are all from the ODST game. Uh, here's the Rookie in the middle there. And lastly, I just got him a short while ago, to my surprise that I found him, is Buck. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with all these. And I guess I'll review the Oni Operative Dare first. And she's shorter than all the other ones, of course. Um, nevertheless, it's a beautiful sculpt that they've done. These figures are extraordinary. Um, height comparison, she's pretty darn short. Um, but as far as articulation goes, they've got quite a bit. Um, she's probably got the best articulation uh, as far as the figures go, because she doesn't have the shoulder blades that the other guys have, so she's actually got a different uh, arm. The problem with her is, is that she's so small, she has a hard time uh, holding her weapons, and she came with the uh, other gun, which name has just escaped me, and where I put the gun has also just escaped me. I think I put it on my shelf over here. But she, it's, it's really hard for her to hold her weapons, and uh, so it loses points in that area. But I, I really appreciated the, the amount of detail that they put into here. Like, they went and labeled everything, it says Dare, all over, and it's just a really cool looking figure, and really glad to have this one. So, full marks to McFarland for that figure. The only problem with any of the ODST is they lack posability and they lack the ability to stand up properly so let's see let's see if they're going to stand this time but as soon as I put them on my shelf they're all going to fall over this is probably my favorite one uh, this is the rookie um, I just I, he's my probably my favorite character in the Halo universe um, he does come with a I believe it's an SMG I can never remember the names of the guns in here um, so if I'm offending anyone, I apologize, and I hope I don't get berated by comments down at the bottom. He does not have as much posability as the, um, operative, and, um, he's kind of lacking in a lot of it. Uh, another thing that I don't like that they did is his face, his helmet's a little too squished, and I kind of wish they did a brighter color on his visor, but, you know, what the heck, if you really, if I'm really going to nitpick at it, I can paint over that later. Um, so, here I'll show you his arm posability. These do come off. I've been uh, thinking about super gluing them on, but they stay on as long as you're not abusing the figurine, you know. Uh, and that's never happened before. Huh. Okay, so be careful with this arm because it comes off and maybe it goes back on well this is just the rain in my crappy parade stay on there that sucks so you know that it's a fragile figure right now as I've just uh, as you've just seen here and uh, he can barely hold his gun he can't do any really cool poses which is sad because he's my favorite figure um, he still looks really cool though. He doesn't have much leg movement because he's got these uh, shoulder or sorry side pieces in the way. He's got his cod piece in the way here, um, so he doesn't allow much reposability. And I really wish that they would come up with a better figure than this um, really soon because he's a really really cool character. So I'm gonna put him here. Hope that he stands and hope that his arm stays together. Lastly is the character of Buck. Um, I found him just by fluke chance at uh, Toys R Us. They're not even supposed to have these things in stock. 
And he comes with a removable helmet, and with a removable helmet comes a removable head. And yeah, that's right, his head is stuck in the helmet, and I tried super gluing this to this, which you can do because it's on two separate um, ball bearing joints. It still doesn't work. I think I need a new super glue. He comes with a assault rifle or a battle rifle. Again, I'm sorry I'm butchering it. I know. You're going to cry about it for a long time. Um, he's a different build up than the uh, rookie. Much different figure. They've uh, These are a lot uh, like tighter, I guess would be the word, than the rookie has. He's got a different um, different weapons and stuff on here. Um, height, he's shorter, yeah, he's actually, he might be a little taller than the rookie, they're around the same height, um, and again, his helmet's too wide, in my opinion, should be just a little, if they could combine these two helmets together, they'd be the right thickness, but he has these little antenna here on the side, he's got a knife here, which is not removable, I was very sad about that, I thought they would they would do that. Um, he actually has a different um, rifle than what is given in the with the Master Chief figure that I have. It does have a pin so you can stick it on their back but it does not come with the uh, the joint to do that. It just comes with the gun. Um, it's thinner and it's squished down more and uh, the handle here is different so that a figure can hold on to it more. And this is a little longer, just kind of goes down a little more. Um, it looks better for the figure, um, just because it's more proportioned. He also has a hard time holding his gun. He has limited uh, posability, which I really wish McFarlane would fix, because they're such cool figures, um, and they don't do anything. They're limited by posability, so you want to display them really cool, you can't. Another thing that I don't like is that they don't come with pegs on the bottom of the feet. So, you know, if you want to buy from Entertainment Earth, you can buy discs that um, for figures to stand them up. You can't do that. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually have an Aomer figure from Lord of the Rings. Right here, I just happen to see this. Those are the pegs. So you can stand them up and display them. I really wish they had those, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, still, all in all, they're really cool figures. Um, I would give them a 9 for sculpt and look, and I think they're really, really exquisite. Um, I think they're well worth their price. They're around $16, $17 Canadian, depending where you're buying them. Um, but they are hard to find. So... Um, People, I've seen people snatch like several of these guys up as quick as they can, and they're never seen from again. And you ask the, you've asked the comic book dealers, you know, are they getting any more of these guys in? And they say they have no idea because everyone wants them. Um, there are two other, or rather three other figures, I guess you could put it. They did make an ODST um, figure. It was this same sculpt, I believe, but he came with a different rifle. and he had a different paint job and it's more of a dark um, blackish background I'll just grab the box these are the new boxes they have a ODST here and then they've got this kind of funny bluish pattern and um, the older one came with a very very dark blue purple kind of like a thunderstorm uh, background and I'll put that right there. And they made the rookie, and they made some that were misprints, and they've got a different paint job. Even though they say the rookie, uh, they don't have the stripe down his helmet, and um, they're worth quite a bit if you have one. That's what I've been told. Um, and they also made one that came with a mongoose, and he has a green neon trim around him. Um, I can't remember what it's for, but it's it looks like um, kind of looks like this brute 
captain right here. I don't know if you can quite see it, but it's got a red outline around it. Same thing with the um, with the ODST, and he comes with the mongoose that's colored the same way. So there's quite a few of them in the collection. If you're looking for an ODST, um, I would recommend going for the Mongoose ODST. Um, he's pretty easy to find and he's around $30 or less. Um, plus you get a Mongoose, which is a pretty cool vehicle to have in your collection. But based on the posability of these figures, I don't quite know if he'd stay on it. So he's one I'm hoping to find next. But the um, the older, the first ODST that they made is around 70 to hundred dollars he's pretty expensive and I have barely ever seen him and if I ever do see him I'll probably get him um, if I don't have to pay seventy dollars for him because I'd really love to have the entire collection of ODST they're they're really awesome figures they don't have much posability um, but they're still worth it in my opinion so this has been Rebels of Cloud 9 signing out